Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Uncommon Logic, breaking down what's happening in the economy and the markets in plain English. Well, that's my goal. Today, I want to take a deep dive into this crazy uh, story that came out last week about short sales, Reddit, GameStop, and hopefully provide some, some clarity and, and make some sense on, on what's happening. And then also address the bigger picture. First thing I want to do is just explain what shorting a stock is, because I know there's a lot of confusion out there, and I'm getting this question a lot. So I apologize if you already understand this. Bear with me. So the most fundamental rule of investing is to buy low and then sell high, right? In that order. We want to buy stocks we think are going to go up in price, let them rise, and then sell them at that higher price. Common sense, right? Well, a short sell would be used when you think the stock is going down and you want to take advantage of this situation. And you can profit when a stock goes down using a short sale because, when, because you can make money not only when the stocks are going up, but you can also make money when stocks are going down. That's when you would use what we call a short sale. Now, I am not recommending this strategy because it can be very, very dangerous if you're wrong and that stock actually goes the other way. It goes up instead of down as you had anticipated. And I'll explain that in a minute. But a short sale is, is the same as buying low and selling high, but here you're doing those steps in reverse. You're selling first and then you're buying second. So for example, if I thought Microsoft was gonna drop in value, I would sell Microsoft at the current price wait for it to drop and then buy it back at that lower price. So again, I'm buying low and selling high just in the reverse order. Now, I don't want to get into the mechanics of how this occurs and where the borrowing of shares and then giving them back because that's just going to confuse things and that's not the purpose of this video. All I want you to know here is that a short sale is used when you think a stock or the stock market is going down and you want to take advantage of that by selling first then buying later at a lower price. Here's where the strategy gets dangerous. If you're wrong and that stock keeps rising, and theoretically there is no limit to how high that stock can go, that's when you fall into what they call a short squeeze because your downside, meaning the amount of money you can lose and be out of is limitless. So let's say you think ABC stock, which is, going to, which is trading at $10, you think it's gonna go down and drop. You think it's gonna maybe hit $2 a share or something like that. So. What you do is you end up shorting the stock. You sell it at 10 with the hope of buying it back at around $2, which in the, which in the end means you bought the stock at two and you sold it for 10. So your profit was eight. Make sense? You see that? But what happens if you sell that stock at 10 and now it rises to 30? Remember, you sold it at 10. You, need that, you now need to buy it at a lower price in order to make a profit. But what happens if that stock keeps rising 40, 50, $60? you're getting squeezed because at some point you're gonna to have to buy this back. Otherwise your losses will just continue to mount. So if it does rise to 30, and let's say the, the company just announced some amazing uh, new announcements, and now that stock looks like it's not gonna go down, it's actually gonna to continue to rise, you gotta get out. So now you buy it at 30. So in the end, what, you ju what just happened? You sold the stock at 10 and you bought it at 30. So you bought it, bought it at a very high uh, amount and you sold it at a very low amount, which, which is exactly what you don't want to do, right? We want to buy low and sell high. Now, I will add there are always ways to profit more safely when you think markets or stocks are going down that can protect you in the event you are wrong. And I'll talk about those strategies in later episodes. So, what happened with GameStop, uh, Reddit, and Robinhood? What's all the fuss? Well, in my opinion, it was an absolute travesty. What started out as a win for the little guy ended in disgraceful actions by the power and the greed of the big players on Wall Street. These massive hedge funds, which make a lot of money in shorting these companies, betting that they're going to go down in value, essentially eroding the value of these companies simply to make a quick profit for their rich investors. They are allowed to go on television and attack these companies in order to drive those stock prices lower and then buy them back later for huge profits with zero regard for the company or their employees. But when the individual investor tries to make a buck off of them by using their own system against them, 
The system decides they need to be shut down and shut out in order to save the elites. And that's precisely what happened here. The online trading app called Robinhood, named after the heroic figure who spent his life robbing from the rich to give to the poor, ended up ditching that mantra and siding with the big firms, sadly. Reddit, which is a massive collection of chat forums consisting of thousands of various topics and interests you can discuss, they had a chat thread called Wall Street Bets. It's just a bunch of small investors, day trader types that banded together to take the opposite position of these big hedge funds, namely on two stocks, GameStop and the movie the theater chain AMC. They saw that these hedge funds, with little regard for the company, were taking massive short positions on these companies, forcing their stock prices down so that they could later then buy them back at a lower price, just as we discussed earlier. Well, these guys in, uh, in the Wall Street bets weren't having any of it, and they wanted to take on the big boys, and boy, did they ever. And the hedge funds were not prepared for this at all. Instead of those stocks dropping, as the hedge funds had expected, this band of brothers in this chat room, these small investors started buying options on GameStop and AMC, which made these stocks skyrocket in value. In fact, shares on GameStop, for example, were up 1,700% and the short squeeze was on. So the hedge funds were losing big time and these small investors were making a fortune. And in today's world, that's a crime. That's not allowed, you can't do that. Only people that work in hedge funds are allowed to manipulate the market, but not the little guy. And how dare does the little guy, the David, take on Goliath and win? Well, this has to be investigated, and it was and still is. So you can only imagine what happened. That chat room was shut down, and you know why? Their excuse was there was hate speech being propagated on the Reddit chat room. Hate speech, that was their excuse for shutting them, shutting them down. And the trading app, Robinhood, known to be for the little guy, where much of the trading was occurring, shut those investors down as well. The elites must be protected. They shut them down because they claimed they needed to protect the small investor so they didn't lose money when these stocks eventually dropped. Did they do that when the price of Amazon was going through the roof and Amazon didn't even have profits at the time? Are they doing that with Tesla, with Apple, with Google and all these other stocks that have skyrocketed in value over the years? No, no, they haven't. The only reason they're halting trading on these stocks, it's because the hedge funds, in other words, the elites were losing and they couldn't stand it. They prevented individual investors from buying stocks in the open market with their own money. This is a very sad moment in our market economy. It's disgraceful in my opinion. Yet they have no problem with us going to Vegas and watching us lose all our money at a, at a blackjack table or, a, or, a, or on lottery tickets. Yet individual investors coming together to take the opposite position of these Wall Street lords is illegal. It's just unbelievable. And now it's exposed for everyone to see. I guess that's the good news. Well, I hope that made sense and gave you some clarity on what a short sale is and, and what happened in the, in the real world and, and how the in, uh, individual investor got screwed. On that happy note, love to hear, you, hear what you think about this. So please leave a comment and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We've got a lot of great new content coming out um, with, with a lot of, lot of great stuff. So with that upward and onward, take care. We'll see you next time.